Hi everyone. In the last video, we were looking at security management with Defender for Endpoint for unenrolled devices, or at least devices that aren't necessarily enrolled in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. I hit an issue where the devices weren't showing up in Intune, in Endpoint Manager, or in uh, Azure AD once they'd been onboarded into Defender for Endpoint. And yeah, it stumped me. I had no idea why that was happening, why it wasn't working the way it should. Uh, and since I found out why that's happened, um, in my specific case, I was using Defender for Endpoint P1 licenses for my environment rather than Defender for Endpoint P2. As soon as I switched that over, the devices appeared in the list so that I could manage them via the uh, security management for Defender for Endpoint process. So we're going to quickly recap what I did very, very quickly. It'll take a couple of minutes to recap what I did. And then once we've finished doing that, we can jump into the next steps that I was going to take to show you how to manage your devices using Defender for Endpoint. Let's jump in. So what we'll do first is just show you that in the settings on this page here in Endpoints, go down to Enforcement Scope, you can see that Windows Client Devices is turned on. We'll head over to Endpoint Manager, Endpoint Security, Defender for Endpoint, and verify that this setting here is switched on. Once I did that, I went over to Defender for Endpoint again and took a look at onboarding. And I was onboarding a Windows 10 and a Windows 11 device, so I used this local script for onboarding. I downloaded the onboarding package and then I ran it on my device. Once the machines had been onboarded, by running the script, and if you're wondering how to run that script, take a look at the previous video, I've linked it up at the top. The devices appeared in my device list here, these two devices here. So let's take a look at this desktop, which is a Windows 10 desktop. It says onboarded. The next step was just to add in a tag. So in manage tags, you can add in MDE-management. That in the pre in the preview forces it to do an Azure AD join for you or a hybrid Azure AD join if that's what you need it to do because you're in a domain. And this is where I got stuck because the device simply didn't do that Azure AD join for me. So I couldn't do the next step, which is to put that device in a group within Azure AD because it just didn't exist in Azure AD or in Endpoint Manager. So now that it does appear in that list, we can jump in and take a look at how you do that. So we're going to go over to Endpoint Manager, Devices, sorry, Groups, New Group, and this is going to be a group called Security Management Devices, and it's going to be a dynamic device membership. I'll just create, create a quick query. So we're just going to edit this rule syntax, and it's going to be device management type dash EQ Microsoft Microsoft sense. Just show you what that looks like. We have management type equals Microsoft sense, nice and simple. So we'll create that group. And so the last step is to create a profile or a configuration setting that will apply to my devices that are not managed by MDM. So in endpoint security, I'm going to create a profile for, let's do firewall. I'm going to create a policy and choose this one here. I'm going to create a firewall rule, not a firewall rule, a firewall policy. And I want the firewall to be on for the domain, on for the private network, and on for the public network. Choose next. And I'm going to add in the group called security management devices. Choose next. And that should apply that to my two devices. Also, I'm going to create an antivirus policy. 
select some random things. I add an excluded path as an example. I want to sh set the schedule scan day to Saturday. Choose next, and I'll add that to my groups as well. Okay, so we'll just head over to my machine. This is a Windows 10 machine, and at the moment, the firewall, I think, is already enabled on this Windows 10 machine. It is. And if we take a look at Defender... And just check for any exclusions. We don't have any exclusions in this list either. Okay, leave that for a few moments. I'll check my other machine, which is a Windows 11 machine. I believe this machine has the firewall turned off, or at least it did before I started this. There you go. So we'll hopefully get that turned on shortly. So just while we're waiting for this policy to kick in, this machine is not Azure AD joined, or at least it isn't traditionally Azure AD joined in the way you would normally do that. I'm just going to have a look to see what it says in the dsreg command. Because it now is Azure AD joined. Um, so that's really interesting. It's Azure AD joined, which means theoretically I could log in as another user and log in as my work or school account. It's an interesting byproduct. Okay, so I've given it a little while now, and it hasn't really done the things I expected it to do, but it's done some things, so I'll show you what I mean. In the uh, Windows 11 machine up here, we haven't got the firewall turned on automatically yet, which is a shame. We've also not had the exceptions added, the exclusions added to to this list here. No existing exclusions. It's been about 15 minutes, so maybe that's okay. Uh, the thing I have noticed is that tamper protection is now enabled, and uh, it's preventing me from turning off real-time protection, so something has happened, because tamper protection was never on before, and I can't turn off, even though I'm the administrator on this computer, uh, I can't turn it off. So that's that's interesting. It obviously has done something and some things have been applied, but not not all the things that I ticked in that list. I'm going to leave it a little while and I'll pause the video while I uh, do something else for the day. I'll come back later in the day and we'll see how it worked. Okay, well that was a few seconds for you, but many, many hours for me. I've been having a, a good day out with the kids. I've come back and, yeah, it's not really done much. I'll show you. So, uh, these are the two devices that are enrolled, or onboarded is the word we're using for MDE. So these two here. And if I jump over to the machine itself, you can see in the security center, the exclusions that I was hoping would be set are not set. Just show you what I mean. There are no exclusions here. And what else was I doing? Uh, the firewall. This firewall is on, but on the Windows 11 computer, the firewall is still turned off. So I mean, it has done something. It did, it did turn on tamper protection to prevent me turning off Defender, and I'm sure it's done some things. And I'm I am on board, and it is giving me good insights in the Defender for Endpoint portal. It's not doing exactly what I wanted, and I'm probably going to troubleshoot that in the future. But not right now. I've I've made my point. It has kind of worked. It's done a little bit more of what I was hoping it would do compared to the previous video. Hopefully this has helped. Apologies for getting it wrong the first time. You know, licensing is, is hard. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you next time.